26 years ago, Monica, that we had our very first date. This has nothing to do with your birthday, but it does cap a very special moment we had times growing up. We had our very first date at the Golden Arches. You remember that? We shared number one together. It was the best I could do. I was only 16. But I wanted you to know from the beginning that I loved you. I care for you. And I'm so glad today that we still are having dates and being able to share moments. Once again, happy birthday. I love you. Roses are red, violets are blue. When I think about you, I just want to run fast and faster. Man, our first date, beautiful conversations. We laughed, we smiled, got to know each other a little bit better. Man, that Big Mac and fries. We always like Sprite. Remember the Big Macs? No onions and no pickles. It had to be no onions and no pickles. We laughed. We got to enjoy each other. And just to think, we're still selling your birthday together. God has been good to us. I love you. Happy birthday. Hi, Miss Monica. I want to say happy birthday, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, and I appreciate you and everything you've done for not just me, but my family. And I hope um, this birthday and many more to come is the best. Um, thank you so much for coming into my life. I appreciate you more than you know. Happy birthday. Well, it's that time again. It's your birthday. Appreciate you for everything you've done for me and my family, for bringing us into your home, bringing us into the church. It's made all the difference. And I just want to wish you a happy birthday. And I hope it's a fantastic one. Happy birthday, Monica. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and tell you that I love you and appreciate you for everything you've done. And, um, uh, and I hope you have a good day. And Happy birthday, Miss Monica. I hope you have a good day. And I'm thankful for everything you have taught me and done for me. And hopefully you have an amazing birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Monica. Um, I just want to wish you a good day. And thank you for inviting us to church. We all love you. And happy birthday. Uh, Miss Monica, I love you. Happy birthday. I hope you have a good day. And thank you for inviting us to the church. Hi, Miss Monica. We love you, and I hope you have a good birthday. I thank you for ha uh, letting us inside the church, and I it feels like you're a family to us. Happy birthday, First Lady. I pray that you had a wonderful birthday, and I thank you so much for blessing us with who God chose you to be in this world. Happy birthday, First Lady. I hope you enjoyed your amazing day and continue to bring positive light to this world. Happy birthday, First Lady. I wish you many more to come. May the Lord bless you. Happy birthday, First Lady, and I, and I just want to say that you are a very special person. Hey, hey Monica. Monica. We just want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. From the first time we met you at, you know, we saw you speak at the couples retreat, right? At Faithful yes. Central. Um, we knew that you were a powerhouse for the kingdom, and we saw you minister and share your story like never before. Then after that, we were blessed to get to know you on a more personal level. And not only are you powerful to the kingdom, but you're fun, you're cool, and you're a nice person to just hang around and to be in uh, your presence is, is such a blessing. And we do appreciate that. Yes, we just want to say, I pray that everything that you pray for comes to pass. And I just want to say also, all the painting events we've had together and your creativity by looking at other people's paintings. Um, She's inspired. <laughs> that's what you call it. Okay, great. So we just want to say once again, happy, happy birthday. birthday. And we pray that in this year that the Lord grants you the desires of your heart, all those secret things that you've prayed that no one knows about, that he blesses you like never before. We love you. You are a great uh, impact to the kingdom, to your children, to mine, to all the women that you encounter. Such a loving and sweet spirit. As first lady, we just want you to have the best birthday. So yes. happy birthday, Monica. Happy birthday, Monica. We love you, girl. Love you. Take care. Bye. Happy birthday, Lady Monica from Lady Tab. May God bless you on your special day. May he continue to keep you and cover you. And I ask that he would give you your heart's desires in Jesus' name. 
Happy birthday, Lady Monica, from the CGM family, from the Tap family. We want to wish you a happy birthday and may this day be blessed and filled with joy. We love you and we're praying for you again. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Auntie Monica. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful year. Um, I pray that everything you desire from God that you get this year. I pray that, um, you know, this is the best year yet, you know. Um, I just want to say I love you so very much. And I thank God for you, truly. Thank you for um, sound advice, wisdom. Um, and you know what those things are. And um, I just want to say uh, I enjoy our laughs when we get together. And um, so fun. I love you so very much. And I just hope you have a wonderful birthday. You too. And we send you our love. We hope you have a wonderful day on the 10th, <laughs> obviously. And we hope you get lots and lots of presents. Happy birthday, Auntie Monica. Happy birthday, Auntie Monica. I just wanted to show my love for doing a song. Happy birthday, Auntie Monica. We hope you have a great year on your birthday. Happy birthday, Auntie Monica. Happy birthday, Monica. Happy birthday. I am so happy for you. I'm glad that you see another birthday this year. That's so exciting. Um, and I love to see you working in the body of Christ and all the things that you and your family are doing for the Lord. And I love you so much. Um, I think about all the good times that we had and all the things that we've been through and how we've stayed friends over the years. Um, and no matter how far apart we are, or how long it is that we don't see each other, when we get back, we always seem to pick up right where we left off. And I just love you to death, and I can't wait to see what else God has for you. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hello, Monica. I just stopped to do this little short video to wish you a happy birthday on December 10th. What an awesome woman of God you are. I am so glad to share my birthday with you. I just wish you the greatest time. I'm just so grateful that you are part of my life and have a wonderful, wonderful birthday blessed life from this day forward. It is December the 2nd. I am sending you an early birthday wish, wishing you the greatest of joy that God continue to minister to you in your life as you minister to others. Continue to hang strong, girl. We're in this thing together. I'll keep having birthdays as long as you keep having them. God bless you and happy birthday. Love you. I want to wish my sister a very happy birthday. I love you. I thank God for you. You are an amazing sister, daughter, wife, mother. Um, you are very, very loved. What I love and admire the most about you is your role as a mother. Monique and Malachi are the most amazing kids. I love them so much. Um, they love you. They love everybody. And most importantly, they love God. You know, they love to worship God, which is, you know, you can't ask for anything more. So um, I love you for raising such amazing kids. Um, I hope you have a happy birthday. I believe this is going to be shown on um, at church. So if you're watching, please follow my business page, Shay Love by Jess, or visit my website, shaylovebyjess.com. Just had to throw my shameless plug in there. Okay, love you. Happy birthday, TT. I, as your TT's baby, just wanted to tell you happy birthday and that I love you very much. And you've been a great role model to me. And I love how you are always able to work a sermon into any conversation that we have. So, I love you. Happy birthday, TT Monica, Mama Monica, Mom, Mama, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna say, just whatever. But I just wanna say how grateful I am for you, everything that you've been in my life, things I didn't even know I needed. You are truly one of the most selfless people that I know, besides with your clothes. But that's a story for a whole other day. Um, I hope your day is as amazing as you are. Your weekend. Everything that your birthday festivities will include. I will be busting. 
And that's all I got. Hello. <laughs> Happy birthday, hey, Monica. Hey, happy birthday, Monica. From your favorite auntie and uncle. Yes, we love you very much. We just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We know you are a wonderful wife, a wonderful mother, mm -hmm. and a wonderful woman of God. And we just wish you many more wonderful years to come. All right, we love you. Love happy you. birthday, Monica. Oh, I'm sorry, Lady Monica. I want to wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. You are loved. We love you so much. You are such an amazing woman. That you have an amazing birthday. And I really want to say your best days are not behind you, but they're in front of you. Keep soaring. Keep keep going um, after everything that God has put in your life. I love you. Monica, there are so many things I could say about you. We go way back, but I only have two minutes. So I'll just say this. You are a rare combination of beauty, strength, and class. And I wanna say that I really do love you, admire you, appreciate the woman that you are, the mother that you are, the wife that you are. You are a true example of a godly woman. And more importantly, you're my sister. So I get the privilege of having you as a sister probably for over 20 years and so i really thank god for our relationship through the years our connection through the years um even though we're far apart from each other now you you've always been knitted in my heart and you will continue to be um until eternity so i love you have a happy amazing birthday and i pray that this one is one of the best that you've ever had what's up happy birthday miss monica I love you so much. I'm so happy that we're celebrating your day. And I definitely believe that you are worthy of the words that everybody has spoken. And myself, I'm just so happy to be able to share what you mean to me. I'm so grateful that you came into my life when you did, when I was young and needed a big sister to help me uh, keep myself together. Um, you are hilarious. People don't know how funny you are, but you are a comedian. We have been through so much together. I mean, I'm just like reminiscent of so many different stories, but I gotta tell this one story. So if you know Monica, she doesn't play about her beauty, doesn't play about keeping it together as a female. You know, it is it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. And so I was at her house, I don't know if I was like 12, 13. And so she would perm my hair and my other sister would do my hair. And so she was perming my hair. And um, she had said that my hair really needed a perm. Like she just kept reiterating that I needed a really slick wick jacket. That's what she would call a slick wick jacket. And so, um, the perm was starting to burn early, but she was like, no, you can't wash it out yet because it's not going to be straight like it needs to be. And so I'm like tears, like like losing it. My body's on fire. Like It's like, I got to get this out. So she tricked me and told me to go get something outside real quick or go walk around real quick. And then she locked me outside of her apartment so she could make sure that the perm took I was so mad at her as we're dying laughing because it was hilarious. And that is just a story that sticks with me. And it's hilarious, but it really is a symbol of how she believes about life. You know, there's no pain without the glory. And you got to go through, and that's what you have shown to me and so to many others. Your life hasn't been perfect, but you have shown and you have proven that if you stay focused, stay faithful to God and take a little bit of pain, man, the glory, everything that comes with that, that, that trial, that going through, the reward is great. And then we see it in your children. Um, I definitely consider you a virtuous woman. I'm so proud of you. I love you and happy birthday. Hey everybody, What's happy up? birthday to our sister Monica. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ooh, ooh. We simply want to say that we love you. We thank God for you and the woman of God that you are. Yes, to the wife, to the mother, to the first lady, to the businesswoman, all the many hats that you wear. We just want to simply say that we love you and happy birthday. 
Uh, it's so funny. So you may be petite in stature, but you are a mighty woman of God. And the wisdom that flows from you, um, such a great listener, but also you always have something to say that is going to be helpful. And I want to say I appreciate that as not just your sister, your little sister, but also as a sister in Christ. Thank you for when you do speak is full of wisdom. I appreciate that very much. And we said we want to say that we love you. Yeah. We love you. Mm -hmm. We thank God for you. We thank God just for everything that the Lord has been doing in your life and the family's life. It's nothing but short of amazing, amazing to see what God is doing. And happy birthday, Monica. Happy birthday, Monica. Again, uh, not to reiterate everything that she said, but I just want to tell you I love you. Uh, if I could say anything, I would say that you exemplify the, uh, the definition of a Proverbs 31 girl. A Proverbs 31 woman, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman for a price of far above rubies? And I think what stands out to me in that scripture is the fact it doesn't say a virtuous mother. It doesn't say a virtuous wife, friend, sister. No, it says a virtuous woman. You that means sleep. you wear multiple hats. That means you evolve into where you ever have to be. That means you're able to move wherever God has you or God uh, wants you to be in whatever season he has. That means you're versatile. And so because of the hats you, you wear, we're able to just speak freely and just tell you that we love you and say good things about you and what you mean to us simply because you wear those hats of a virtuous woman. You're a virtuous wife, mother, sister, friend, and every other venture that you put your hands to. So without any uh, much of a longer video, we're going to say goodbye. Uh, we love you and love enjoy you. your day, okay? Boop, boop. Turn up! Turn up! Vegas style! <laughs> For us. <laughs> Love y'all. Love you. Hello, Monica. PK here. Just reaching out to say happy birthday. I know this is a little bit of a surprise. I know how much you love surprises. But I will say this. You're a very, very special woman. A special individual. You have so much courage. Uh, you're a leader. People look up to you. Um, I look up to you and I love having you as part of my NCC family here. Look forward to, to being your friend and your peer here for many years. Have a good one. Hi, Miss Monica. I just want to wish you a very happy birthday. You know, you mean a lot to me and I'm not the best with words, but I hope you have the best birthday ever. Hey, Monica. Happy birthday. Ramon reached out to me and asked me if I would take a couple of minutes to make a video for you to share a little bit about what it is that you mean to me. Now, I'm not the best at making these videos, so bear with me here. And I have so much that I would love to say to you, but I'm gonna to try to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. I can tell you that from the very first moment I ever saw you, and this was literally seeing you from across the hallway as you were leaving our building after your first interview here at Northwest, I knew in that very moment that you just, you had to be a part of my life. And then when I heard that you were gonna start working with us here at Northwest, I was just so freaking excited and I can see why. You just have an energy about you. You are positive, you are delightful, you are a lovely human being inside and out. And you have truly just been a pleasure, pleasure to work with since the very first time I've had the opportunity to work with you. Now that we work even more closely together than we did at the beginning, I can see that you are everything right about an employee and a team member. You are consistent, you are reliable, you are a wonderful professional, and you are such a great role model for our students and, and truly someone that they can inspire to become. And I mean, separate from a work sense also, you're just an incredible person. You are fun, you are high energy. I love getting the opportunity to work with you because you make working with you fun. And even when we're going through stressful times or hard situations, you always manage to keep a good attitude about it. You keep it light, you keep it positive, and you are a pleasure to be around. You're also just such a huge inspiration to the people that work for you. You're a role model. You're a mentor. You're a, a true definition of a leader. I'm really, really glad that you came into my life when you did and came into Northwest's world when you did. We are very lucky to have you. And I hope you know, I just think the world of you. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And uh, thanks so much for letting me say a couple of words. Happy birthday, Miss Monica. I just wanna say thank you for always being there and for basically getting to know me as a person. You've helped me build up my self-confidence, be more engaged, and also just, 
identify my strengths and help me build upon my weaknesses. So as a mentor, A++, as a friend, A++++, platinum, better, just everything. But thank you so much for being in my life and thank you for continuing to be in my life. And I wish you happy birthday and hopefully many more years to come. Hey, Miss Jones, you have been the best boss. Not only that, you've been the best mentor that I could have ever asked for. And I'm so appreciative that you are in my life now. Happy birthday. Love ya. Hi, Monica. Happy birthday. We hope you're truly having a wonderful, wonderful day. I just wanted to give a moment and just let you know how much I truly appreciate you. You have been such a dear friend to me these past two years working at Northwest Career College. I am so grateful, humbled, and honored that we get to work so close together. And I know I can always count on you. You have such a big heart and it shows. It honestly, truly shows. You are such an amazing woman, an amazing program chair, an amazing mom, an amazing first lady in your church. You truly are, you know, have such a great, great heart. And I am so blessed and honored to be your friend. And I am so blessed and honored that I am able to get on here and wish you a happy birthday. I hope that you take this day to really celebrate yourself. Of You are such an amazing woman that, you know, take the day, enjoy it. So I want to just wish you a quick happy birthday and let you know how much I appreciate you and all that you have done for me over these past two years. I also have somebody else here that wants to give you a quick happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Monica. Happy birthday, Monica. We love you. Bye. Well, blessings and greetings, greetings and blessings to my family and to my friends there all the way in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Bishop L.L. Hosey Sr. and we greet you with Jesus joy. Listen, my friend and brother told me that today is a very special day. Today you are celebrating the birth of a queen. You're celebrating the birth of an incredible, fantabulous fabulous young lady in the person of First Lady Monica Jones, and we could not allow this day to go by without chiming in and sending our well wishes all the way from here uh, to you there. Lady Hosey sends her love and well wishes as well. She's been a little under the weather, so she's away getting some much needed rest, but we could not allow this day to go by without saying happy, happy, happy birthday to you. Now, I know it's customary that on a birthday, the birthday honoree actually is the one who closes their eyes over a cake with a candle and they make a wish. But according to scripture, can I make a wish on your behalf, sis? Because we love you so very dearly. Let me make a wish on your behalf today. I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Can I say it again? I wish, Lady Hosley wish, uh, the Hosley family wishes to you today that you would, uh, we wish that you would uh, prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Until we can get together, Take our virtual hugs, loves, and kisses all the way from Vancouver, Washington, there to Las Vegas, Nevada. Have a happy, happy birthday and many, 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 many more. Look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, take good care. We love you. Man, dear LaMonica, boy, was I so embarrassed when I realized that your real name was never La Monica. But it was always Monica, and I remember when you corrected me that you said, hey, you know my name is Monica. Wow, that was one of my most embarrassing moments. But nevertheless, I would always write you letters just to let you know how much I thought about you. I remember having the check boxes of yes or no, if you like me and all that stuff. But we were kids back in the day. Now we're a little bit older. And I still like every once in a while to hear you say, I love you. But guess what? I want to let you know that I love you and I think the world of you. Hey, by the way, I'm still your number one fan. I love you. Happy birthday, LaMonica.